this week we are giving away our console pouch, but not just one, we're giving away two. Stick around to the end of the episode to figure out how you can win these console pouches and the secret little surprise that's inside. Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to the Blue Ridge Bonfire, the funny little show where we have fun, we read your comments, and we talk about overlanding and the overlanding lifestyle. Sorry we missed last week. Yep. Uh, CT played hooky, ran away to Colorado, <laughs> just, you know, left Work me here hanging, happened, you know, so, um, um but we're yeah. back last week. Uh, we had no bonfire, sorry, but on Thursday we dropped a new, uh, base camp basics video with family adventures over landing. It was their, uh, super tasty, super succulent, uh, cheese steak stuffed green peppers. Uh, I don't know about you, but I watched that thing. How'd you edit that without like just drooling all over oh, the keyboard. Oh, I was I was drooling. <laughs> I had to replace the keyboard. Um, oh my gosh! Yeah. Uh, if you haven't got a chance to check that out, definitely do. I'm gonna try this uh, next time I'm out and about. I just got a scuttle, so uh, I'm definitely. Gonna Did try you have this. it now? Yeah, I got it now. Nice. Yes. We need to break it in at the rooftop tent rally. I know. I'm gonna be there. All right. So speaking of rooftop tent rally coming up this weekend, we are going to make up for slacking last week and not having a bonfire by possibly potentially trying to do a Instagram live bonfire from the rooftop tent rally. So we don't know how it's going to work because cell reception there is kind of spotty. If we can make it work, we're going to make it work. Um, so just kind of tune in for that. Um, and obviously, um, if you can't be on there when it's live, the recorded version will be up there. So. Speaking of, so as you guys know, the Apocalypse 2020 t-shirt pre-sale has ended. That was it. We're having those made right now. Those should ship out uh, this Thursday or Friday. But, you know, we bought a few extras, maybe sell at the rooftop tent rally. Those might, may or may not be part of a live giveaway from rooftop. I don't know, you know, something there might happen. So stay tuned for that. If you guys, uh, the patches, uh, we're still selling those. Those are flying off the shelves. If you haven't got a chance to, now would be a I've, good time to I, get a patch. I want to say they're over half gone. Yeah. They're, I, I want to say they're over half gone. If they're so. not, yeah, they're right, right around yeah. that. Um, spoiler alert, you could buy them now and use them as Christmas gifts, stocking stuffers. Just saying, ideas, man, okay? We're just, we're yeah. just the idea guys. Uh, um, also, so this same weekend, if you can't make it out to uh, the rooftop tent rally, didn't get a ticket or whatever, well, there's another event going on, right? Rendezvous in the Ozarks uh, is also this weekend. That That's is right. down in Arkansas. Arkansas. Uh, Arkansas. Um, so if you can't make it to the Rooftop 10 Rally um, or you're going to that event already, um, please uh, send us some updates and then maybe we can share some photos or some stories about it uh, on next week's bonfire. But there's another event too going on that actually has rally in the name of it. Why don't you give us a little oh, update on that? Right now, going on right now, this very, it, the, this, this very week is the Rebel Rally. And if you were paying attention to uh, our episode a couple of weeks ago, we talked about how we are supporting a team, uh, the uh, Hemispheres United team. Uh, we're supporting Mandy and Irma uh, as yep. rookies. Um, they are representing the East Coast because Mandy's here from uh, Maryland area and Irma is, of course, from South Africa. Hence the whole name Hemispheres United, in case you couldn't figure that out. Um, but they are currently, as of the end of day three, uh, the fifth ranked rookie team and currently sitting in 22nd overall. Um, but these kinds of rallies are intense from day to day. Things can change. Um, I've actually seen a record, I think it was a 120 point swing uh, in one of the rallies a couple years ago where this team that kind of didn't do so well one day all of a sudden was back in the fight. So uh, I love a good underdog story. Uh, yeah, exactly. I'm, I'm still, yeah. still rooting. And, and two, I mean, it, it, it's an intense event. Um, be a lot of fun to go out. Someday. Yeah, if you all don't know about the Rebel Rally, they, you, they can't use GPS at all. So they're eight days doing land nav. So map and compass style. Map and, map and compass styles. Um, so that's through the desert of California. Uh, but anyway, uh, we're excited to see um, how they do. Uh, this is their this is their first year competing, so we're excited to yeah. see how that goes. Also, Our, also coming up, what is going to be the Fury Training Concepts Fall Foliage Ride? Yep, um, that is coming up the first weekend in November. It is currently sold out. 
Um, but again, we will be doing more of these, so make sure you stay tuned uh, for future events. Um, this one's actually gonna be pretty fun. Uh, I just mapped out what might be the preliminary route, which is gonna be about 140-ish miles. Seems like a lot, but um, I think it's doable. Um, and it's definitely gonna be cool because we're gonna camp in one location Friday night, drive and camp in a second location Saturday night. Uh, we got some really cool, fun uh, spots to see along the way. So it should be a pretty good route. Also going on this Saturday is a virtual Overland Expo event, the fall one, which is kind of linked to when uh, Overland Expo East. Uh, yours truly is gonna be in not just one, but two videos. They tagged me uh, for two videos. One is gonna be a roundtable discussion on North American overland routes and resources. Um, and then I will also be doing a second video on um, trip planning resources, navigation 101, uh, basically showing off my map collection. Rock on, rock on. Always a fun time. Yeah. Uh, last event that we've got on the radar coming up is our Overlander flea market. Uh, that is gonna be November 21st. Some of you guys have already RSVP'd. Let us know if you camp in or if you're gonna be selling stuff so we know where to stick you. Um, yep. But dude, that's gonna be a blast. Buy, sell, trade, all your camping gear. You know, that thing that didn't work out, well, maybe it'll work good for somebody else. Bring it and sell it, man, and then find other cool stuff for cheap. Boom, that's gonna be here yep. at the shop. Right. Very fun, very fun. It's that time. I think it's time to read some comments. I think it is. All right. All right. It just, I can, I can sense it. So last week we asked, what has been your go-to apocalypse Oops. snack uh, during the pandemic while you've been cooped up, et cetera, et cetera. And uh, here's what you guys wrote in. All right. Bull Run Overland on Instagram said, have to say chips and dip. Uh, as well as uh, some really good IPAs. So I, it's a good combo. Dig it. Um, yeah, IPA needs to be paired with food, I find. <laughs> Graybeard on YouTube said, Oreo double stuff cookies and bluebell ice cream washed down with black mellow joy coffee. Mm. Never heard of that before, yeah. okay. Chicks dig it too on Instagram said gummy bears and bourbon are surprisingly complimentary. <laughs> I can go with the bourbon. I'm not a gummy candy guy, but I can definitely go with the bourbon. So I'm halfway I, I, there. I, 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 the, I, color me skeptical. Thomas Robertson on YouTube said Vermont summer sausage with 12 year old red breast whiskey. I love red breast. Oh Dude. my God. <sighs> Humming along on Instagram said, ice cream sandwiches, you can't beat one after working in the heat all day. Besides, it's the holy trifecta. You've got chocolate, you've got ice cream, and it's a sandwich. Can't go wrong. All the good things in one place. I, my, my weakness has been cookies and cream Twix bars. Ooh, ice cream, nice. like ice cream, cookies and cream. Oh my God. TSX Overland on YouTube said, Skittles. No wait, Cheez-Its. No wait. Peanut M&M's, damn, now I'm hungry. Me too. <laughs> ben Wood on Facebook said, found a new brand of uncured nitrate-free bacon and a new gluten-free pancake mix. Uh, yeah, breakfast, can't go wrong with bacon and pancakes. Dude, somebody's eating healthy. Yeah. And our winner uh, from two weeks ago is two dogs and a forerunner on Instagram and they said, chips and guacamole can't seem to get enough of it lately. Guacamole emoji. <laughs> well, yeah, the or, guacamole or avocado emoji. emoji. Well, yeah, yeah I, have a, I mean. Dude, congratulations. You were in the headrest Velcro panel with those patches. Hope that you get to organize your cab a little bit more. So this week, what are we giving away? We're giving away the console pouch. Um, these things are super useful. Um, I know both CT and I use them for organizing camera gear. I've seen them in glove boxes. I've seen them in center consoles. I've seen them in the little door pockets down there. People use them in their luggage. Um, super duper useful, have their own little, ah! These aren't just any packing cubes. These are super heavy duty, made with Cordura. Couldn't rip it if you tried, but don't try. And they have a little carry handle. Little carry handle. And um, to make it sweet, we are gonna include our Brog patch, and the 2020 apocalypse patch. Wow. So we're gonna we're gonna sweeten this deal. Um, How do people so, win? I, you know, 
I've been struggling to come up with a question. Um, We've just been so agreeable I know, this week. It's, uh, uh, I'm, let me let me let me think for a second. Okay, so he, so he, okay, all right. So so here's something that's been going on for me. So I've been getting into eating steak recently. Okay. okay. So okay. growing up, all the steak I ever had was overcooked, not a great cut, tough, and pretty much flavorless and just dry. And it was terrible. And so I would say I, I basically swore off of steak for most of my life. And I'm only now getting back into it. And I was like, like, um, cause before I was just always like, well, steak is just a tough, impossible to chew version of a hamburger. <laughs> and so forget this. I don't want my jaw to hurt just to get food in my body. So, um, right. <laughs> uh, so I guess my question is what is the best cut of steak and how is it Ooh. best prepared? There we go. That, there we go. All right. Educate me, bro. All right. Help a brother out. So it's kind of like it's like threefold right there because you have you have what's the cut of the meat right right and then you have you know like how how is it cooked how are you yeah how's and then, it best and then to how, cook it? Is yeah it and how is it grill, prepared you know you just milk it like what do you do yeah that's so yeah let's roll with it give us your best seasonings your yeah. best cut of meats let me know and Help if you a can brother out. if you can get the comments in before I go grocery shopping on Wednesday for the rooftop ten rally. <laughs> Um, maybe Thursday at the latest. Uh, I, I could use some some recipe ideas for uh, for, for cooking out this weekend. The rooftop rock on. I could as well because <laughs> I'm gonna be bringing my scott. I'll be breaking it in. All right, guys. Uh, so just so you know, so upcoming, we're wrapping up the show here. We're we're doing a walk around of another van. This one was like a complete custom build out. They even have a bed inside levels itself if you've parked off camber. Insane custom build, yeah. so super meticulous. Front to back, side to side, it's 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 crazy. It's it's amazing, amazing build. Uh, so check out that video coming this Thursday. I hope to see you guys at the rooftop tent rally, virtually or in person. And that's all the fun we've got. I'm CT. I'm Dean. This is Sasquatch. We'll see you again next week. Same brog time. Same Brog channel, and we mean it this time. Like we're actually, <laughs> there will be an episode next we week. Don't, it's not like two weeks ago. No more work trips we're, coming yeah, up that we know of. Okay. Yeah, we're, it's not yeah. like two weeks ago where he said, oh yeah, we'll be back. And then we totally forgot that <laughs> CT was going to Colorado and left me yeah. here all by myself. Uh, okay. Yeah. All right, guys. See you later. Whew.